Let us now remember Chuck Matz and honor him as well as his wife, Sally, without whom we would not be here today. As many of you know, this church was built by Sally's great-great-grandmother, Eliza Hartshorn, 1895 to 1897. What a gift to us and to this community. And without Sally, and especially without Chuck, Friends of the Stone Church, the organization that has operated this church for almost 30 years, would not even exist. Chuck and Sally, with several others of us, started Friends of the Stone Church in 1994. Now many of you have come to our wonderful Festival of Lessons and Carols, held each year a week before Christmas. That was Chuck's idea. And here is his handwritten invitation to the first Lessons and Carols in 1994. Here is the organ that we purchased in the 1990s. You'll see this plaque, you come up here, dedicated to Charles H. Matz. This was Chuck's organ. And it was right here that Chuck would stand and talk about the music that he was going to play and that we were going to sing. At some length, on occasion. <laughs> church and his music is really part of the, <coughs> the community and everybody who, who, who knew Chuck got the same thing. Dinner in one place or another, I'd say four or five times a month. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a really wonderful experience and I really appreciate Chuck and Sally for what they've done for us. We just saw Sally maybe about two and a half, three weeks ago we went down to the community in Pennsylvania, she's fabulous. Yeah, look at that. It meant we were sandbagged for two hours, <laughs> at least, to drink and laugh. And that's the other thing about Chuck. His laugh, his, his comedy, his joy in telling you a joke was really amazing. And the other thing was he would always tell us stories. And one thing I came away with was when he told us about God wings, which I've never heard of, which mm. I'm sure many of you have. 